What's up guys? Okay, hey guys. Um, I'm gonna be showing you today GTA and I have some good news for you. My graphics card came in the post today. I was so excited. I had a few problems with it though. I um trying to put it into the actual machine it was like holy fuck. Like I knew where it goes, I know how to operate it and shit. I know how to put it in and shit. What I did was first of all I um I I just turned off the computer, you know, like did all the precautions and shit like that. And then, um, after that, I just, uh, put it in, started up, and for starters, just doing that error kind of thing, it was like beeping and shit. I was thinking, oh, it's probably, I don't know, anyway, I let it run, uh, it took a while to load off, but it did eventually. And, yeah, um, it, it loaded, it loaded up, so yeah. But, um, what was I gonna say, uh, it's a pretty good, it's a really good graphic. Well, holy shit. It's a pretty good graphics card, like, um, usually I play GDA on, like, max settings. Uh, at the moment I'm playing on medium settings only because, oh, I'm actually playing on high settings, but, uh, it's only because, like, uh, with wraps on, it's pretty, yeah, it's pretty laggy. But, yeah. Anyways, um, holy shit. I thought all I'd been doing since I got here yeah. was helping. So, um, it's a really good, uh, blah, blah, I'll tell you the, the, like, you know, what it is. It's a, uh, Sapphire HD 7850 OC edition, so it's overclocked. Um, everything about it is, it's got, uh, 2 gigabyte of GDDR5. So that's pretty, that's pretty, uh, that's an average amount of graphic memory, which is good. My old one was 4 giga, I think, but the problem with my old one was it was slow, so I could only play games like GDA on low settings, or, um, um, so at the moment I'm playing, the resolution on this, I'll show you, the resolution on this is actually really good, it's 1920 by 1080 and uh, I have a lot more options, which is weird, usually I'd only have 1920 by 1080 60Hz, and then 59Hz, and then you go down to 12... 1280 by 720, 60 hertz, and then all the others, and then I only had like two options, two resolution types, and I always go for 60 hertz. But anyways, um, yeah, it's it's really um, con considering the fact I'm playing at the highest res, um, high highest like texture quality. I mean, the water quality I have it low at the moment because I took it off before. It, it doesn't make any lag difference, but I suppose taking it off, you don't really see much water. Unless you're going near the river. Anyways, shadow quality is on medium. Um, yeah, night shadows are off. Texture quality, uh, texture filtering quality is at two. So yeah, I don't really use that. I, I use it in some games, but GDA, it, you don't really much see a difference. Um, you know, view distance on that is pretty low. Uh, v sync is on, all that shit. But uh, on average, when I'm playing Fraps, I get 20 to 30 FPS. But when I'm playing like without fraps on the highest settings, I'm getting about 40 to 60, which is really good. Uh, the only slight problem, slight problem with this graphics card is I think, I don't know, it could be me. It could be me installing the wrong driver zone. I just installed the drivers from the disc that came with it. But um, it can be very, it will stutter at times during games. And when you first load up a game, it does stutter for a few seconds and then it gets, and it like loads up and the, and the FPS is like goes up to 60. It's really good, but um, you, know, you get a bit of stuttering here and there. And yeah, it's definitely play it like you can play The Witcher 2, which is a uh, really high, you know, like it's a demanding, it's a really big demanding game. You'd have to have a pretty badass graphics card. You can play that on high settings without no lag whatsoever. That's the recommended setting settings. Skyrim, you can play on the high settings no matter what you do. You can play on high the very highest with the highest resolution. Um, I suppose if you don't mind low resolution like 1280 by, by 720 um, then you could if you could play on any game with uh, the highest settings but you know with me um, I prefer 1920 by 1080 so yeah but um that's pretty much it. Yeah buddy! Nothing much really happened. I mean, when I first put the graphics card in, it was a pain in the 
ask because like it was I was so worried it wasn't even gonna fit. I mean my hard drive uh, my casing is pretty pretty small compared to gaming casings, but you know. <laughs> what? That didn't make sense. Anyway. It's yeah, uh, the casing is pretty small so it took me a while to get it in and yeah, I'm, when it comes to computer parts, I know they can handle a lot of, you know, like, force, but, um, I just get worried sometimes, so, yeah. But, um, yeah, w w with my old graphics card, I had a NVIDIA GT6, uh, GT630, uh, which was 4 gigabytes, which is a lot compared to this one. But as I said before, I think I said this, it's, a, it's, this graphics card is faster. And in the, uh, catalyst, I'm pretty sure you can, um, speed it up a bit. I haven't tried that yet so that might work for my stuttering problem but um yeah I'll ask some people around because I don't want to fuck this up. But um the uh graphics card doesn't have much stuttering. When you get into the game there's no stuttering. Any game really. But at the start of the game you feel it you feel it, you definitely feel the stuttering. Which is okay. Um I'm sure it's just my graphics drivers because I just installed the drivers straight off from the disk and uh, I updated it from Windows manually. I'm sure there's a different way. But you know. Holy shit! Whoa! Oh, look at that. That was awesome. That was sick. <laughs> yeah, so it's definitely playable. I mean, at the moment, um, usually I'm a very particular, like, I, for some reason, many of you people out there could play at 15 to 9 to 20 FPS, but not me. I, I, I like my games kind of crisp, you know, I don't like it on low, a low, low FPS. Like, you know. Now, Minecraft, Minecraft is definitely playable on this. I mean, fuck. You, you can play on the higher settings, you won't get one bit of stutter, you won't get one little bit of lag. It's, like, completely perfect. You don't get any FPS. I mean, ugh. You don't get any lag, you get over 60 FPS. It's pretty much perfect for Minecraft, don't even worry about that. Um, if you were a Minecraft player then I prefer to go for my old graphics card which is an NVIDIA GT630, I told you that before, just saying. Um, yeah, which is about 60, I think it's, I don't know how much it is, but I presume from experience with it, it I'd say it was like 50 bucks, a bit more probably, I'm guessing. But this uh, graphics card was 260, got it off tech buy, and yeah. And, you know, um... It's just, yeah, I prefer crispy kind of a gameplay. Anyway guys, I don't think there's any more much to say. Uh, thanks for watching, and you know, I can probably do now let's... I can probably do let's plays on any game you like. I have plenty of games, you know, just waiting. <laughs> but yeah, thanks guys. Anyway, uh, oh. Yeah, just wait, sorry. It's kind of uh Yeah, so anyway, I don't think there's anything else, but yeah, that's pretty much it. And um I'll be doing another thing, sorry, I'll give you a few benchmarks before I go. Far Cry 3, you get about um 60 you get 60 plus FPS on pretty much any game if you're not using fraps. That's how that's how I've noticed it. Except for the Witcher 2, you um you, you get away with it on ultra settings just, but uh, I reckon high settings is just perfect for it because you don't want to go overboard with it, I mean like yeah. But anyway, um, uh, I think that's all the games I think of that are pretty modern. Um, Assassin's Creed 3, I'll be downloading that tomorrow probably, and I'll tell you the FPS on that because I'm really... What the fuck? Whoa, man! That was actually pretty good. I've never seen a glitch like that on here. Yeah, anyway guys, I think that's it. See you guys, and bye!